Oh, it's a little overcast. This is my morning van life routine. And it's not the same routine you see on other YouTube channels because I think they wake up, they tidy their van up because they don't want you to see that they're actually living like a slight bit of a slob. Me, I don't give a crap. I keep it real around here. I wake up, I throw stuff in front of the heater in the morning like Cruzy's dog food that needs to thaw or bacon if I'm having bacon in the morning that was frozen. And uh, I put on dirty socks, clothes I've been wearing for a couple of days and well, usually in the morning I try to huck on clean underwear today and I'm wearing yesterday's underwear. It smelled okay. What? I'm just trying to keep things real around here. My morning routines aren't usual. I get up and I like to move away from the place I camped no matter how beautiful it is, whether I'm in the city or I'm in the backcountry. The first thing I do is wake up and move. We're out of beans. Oh no. Hold on, we got another one? Oh, we do. We got another full one. <laughs> We're good to go. We also got coffee here from a subscriber named Paul that sent me through this one. All right, coffee's on a four minute timer. We're gonna go take down that Starlink. Yeah, I just wouldn't connect this morning. So we're gonna go have to find somewhere on the trail somewhere here so we can get a video uploaded to you guys. And definitely over the years, I have seen tons of van life channels showcase their van in the morning and waking up doing the whole intro scene stuff in a perfect van. No dog hair, no dirt, no clothes, no dishes, no nothing. And I don't think that's a real representation of what really happens. I think some of those channels wake up in the morning, clean their van for an hour, then turn the camera on because they don't want to show you guys that other side of it. Me, I'm a little bit more sloppy. That's a different story. But I have seen thousands of vans in parking lots and from the rest areas and Walmarts over the years. And let me tell you, even in a $200,000 Sprinter van, there's still a pile of dishes in the sink, dirty clothes on the floor every day. I love it that you're not a morning person, bro. <laughs> you're an absolute blast to wake up with, let me tell you. <laughs> I should probably clean my van at some point. This is brutal. That's where we camped out at, right over there. snow cap on those mountains. Wow, good freaking morning everyone. And I don't think those YouTube channels are faking anything. I think they're legit living van life, doing it real like the rest of us. But I do think that they put a filter on their story so much that it's turning it into the Instagram of van life. And you don't need to put a filter on van life. Even the dirty side is epic right up to mornings like this. You don't need to band-aid these things up and try to sell your awesome day. Van life is awesome no matter where you are. If you're in the city sleeping at Walmart or you're deep out here in the backcountry like this today, this lifestyle needs no filter. This video right here is filmed on the cheapest drone that DJI makes and also an iPhone. No filters needed, nothing at all. Just me, my iPhone, and my story. Huh. That's an epic little spot. Be really tough to get the van in there comfortably, but heck yeah. This would have been a nice spot to camp out at last night. Oh, wow. This island amazes the crap out of me.
That's a cool little tree. Just growing out of the rocks. Okay, this has to be one of my favorite spots. Like secluded, there's nowhere to camp around here. It would be just me. Man, I'm pinning this place for sure. I like spots like this where, you know, you're not in visible sight of other campers. There's no chance of this place getting busy with other people around because there's no other person that can camp here because the spot only fits one vehicle. My kind of place. Yeah, we gotta throw this in my app. I use what three words to track all my personal camp spots for future reference for myself. Oh, look at this great spot. It's on a hill, but if I pulled over this way and propped my van up a little bit, it'd be a nice spot. We're gonna make a little breakfast at this spot. Probably shut the van off. Oh, it's chilly with that wind. Brr. Put gloves on. Totally destroyed these eggs. <laughs> I tried. I have a right glove and a second right glove. <laughs> Wearing it upside down. What can I do for you, Cruzy? What can I do for you? Hey, I'll give you breakfast right after me, buddy. Me first, you second. Cruzy's breakfast, some raw meat, some goat's milk. Add a bit of water to it to make sure he gets lots of water. Some herring oil. A little bit of stuff for his joints. Multivitamin just coming, Cruzy. He's at my feet right now going, Dad, is that my breakfast? Now it looks like a big bowl of muck. The star of the show loves this stuff, don't you, buddy? There you go. There you go, pal. I can hear uh, over there that little uh, sound I heard in the bush a long time ago. It's like a... <laughs> Sorry for my sound effects. It's uh, mating, the mating call for like grouse or a pheasant or something like that. It's just like a really deep little I can hear it from over there. I remember the first time hearing that in the backcountry, I was like, what the heck is that sound? So my morning routine is just this. I've seen a lot of morning routine videos on YouTube in the past, and they all kind of seem to do the same thing. They get up and they organize and they do their hair and makeup or they shave and they clean up and they clean up camp or whatever they do. It's just a big routine around the place that they slept. I've always been the guy that gets up, leaves. I don't do any of my morning stuff except for usually make coffee. Very seldom do I stay in the same spot and do all that stuff. Usually I get up and I am so excited about seeing what's down the road. It's been on my mind all night that that's the first thing that I do is I go adventure just a little bit until this feels like, okay, cool, cool. Now we can stop and make breakfast and shave and shower and do all those little things. I've always done this for my morning routines. Just uh, move and do it all <laughs> somewhere else. Maybe I'm the weirdo. I don't know. Maybe I, maybe everybody else does it all in the same spot. And I find this find this just a fun way to start my morning. Just get up and go. How's breakfast, homie? That's disgusting, bro.
maybe it was all the years when I first moved into the van living in the city because I get up in the morning and moved right away so I wouldn't, you know, get into trouble or have the knock or anything like that. So I would always just sleep somewhere, get up and move. Maybe that was just a habit I took into being out here. That's every day, no matter whether I'm, I'm sleeping in towns or I'm out here in the backcountry, it's the same thing. Every morning, get up, move. Sorry guys. I, uh, I have to use the washroom. I wrecked my shaker cup. I didn't clean it out, now it smells funny, so I'm putting my vitamins in a water bottle. I wonder if that sun's fully gonna come out. That'd be awesome. I spent a little bit of time last night watching some of the newer YouTube channels that have come out over the last stack of years and kind of seeing what they're doing. And there's some of them are making really great entertaining content. I enjoyed a few of them and even subscribed to a few channels but some of those channels are only producing one video per week, meaning you get the entire highlight of seven days in 15 minutes, showcasing all the up, fun, exciting, and good moments. What are they keeping out of those videos? What are they not showing you that happened over the last week? Are they only filming one day and then not, what are they doing for the next six? What's their fan life really like? What are they doing? I guess we'll never know. Another camp spot. Oh. This is epic, this one. Oh, this is gonna be a good spot for Starlink. You guys ever have a morning where you just kind of feel like you just <laughs> watch Netflix all day? That's exactly what I feel like. So I've still been thinking about putting this in my new box that's on the back of my van. That way there's no more setup. My only portable battery I have in my van right now is dead. So you need a, like a jackery or something like that to plug this into. Because you need the 12 volt cigarette adapter plug on it. So I have to put it by my van so I could plug it in. Okay, hopefully that's deep enough. No, it's gotta go underwater. Uh, it's gotta go farther without coming in. That'll work. And I forgot the plug thing on the side of my battery so I can't charge it. So if I mounted this inside of here, we haven't really put anything in here yet, but a chair. But I was thinking about mounting it right in here, taking this shelf out because it won't fit with that shelf in, mounting that in there, putting all my shower stuff up top here, and then we'd still have some storage down here for recovery gear or anything like that in there. But that would make it all the way out there still. Like I think that hose is 25 feet, 50 feet. I'm, I'm not even sure. Yeah, and then all we'd have to do is just plug everything in here and that's it. You know, we could leave the propane tank and stuff already hooked up, put the bottle on a mount right there. That way it's already wired up. All we gotta do is plug it in. Maybe I'll leave a battery in here that we just gotta turn the switch on. Done deal. Van life wasn't the same without all of these little luxuries. It makes all the difference in the world. So if you've ever been on the fence about buying like silly luxuries for your van or whatever you would consider a luxury, go do it. 100% go do it. You're definitely not getting ready in a rush out here, that's for sure. Doing things like showering and stuff while you're on the road in a van is a bit of a process sometimes. <laughs> I love you, buddy. Hey, Dad's just trying to get nice and clean so I don't stink. Hey, 
so you don't stink. Let's clean your ears out, bro. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. The only problem with mounting it in there is it's gonna leave bolts out here. Um, I actually got a, a mounting bracket for that hot tap shower. Now I'll have to take a look at that bracket, see if I can make this happen. So right now I'm kind of debating on if we should just hang out here for the day. It's a nice little spot. I kind of maybe feel like uh, <laughs> just having a lazy inside Netflix day. It happens sometimes. But I'm also kind of worried about waiting till tomorrow because we're supposed to get rain starting at some point here for the next solid week. So the town over there, Zabelos, I looked it up online. It looks like it's pronounced Zabios, I think. <laughs> I don't want to go into that little town. It's just tiny. It's probably only like a couple dozen homes and a, uh, it's a fishing community. It's right on the ocean down there. But I don't know if I want to go in there if it's pouring down rain or if we should just like go today. It's probably 50 kilometers from where we are right now. 45 kilometers, something like that. Ah! <laughs> I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, thanks for hanging out here on just a simple van life morning out here. This lakeside road, absolutely beautiful this morning. Not often on my travels do I get to hit up a backcountry road that just winds the perimeter of a lake. It is just sheer freaking beauty and so much fun to be driving up the side window of your home and the lake is like right, right freaking there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching this video here today. If you guys haven't grabbed any of our stickers, our t-shirts, we got our What's Up Weirdos t-shirts. Um, on the store right now. Also, our What's Up Weirdos long sleeves, our Van City Van Life long sleeves are on there. Are we releasing more t-shirts? Yes. When? I don't know. <laughs> but all that stuff's at vancityvanlife.ca. Anyway, you guys, keep your double Vs up and uh, love each other and go have some fun today, guys. Uh, thanks for watching and spending a little bit of time with me and Crazy Bear. <laughs> we out. Peace out. What do you want to do? Do you want to take off and go check out that little town? Do you want to just hang out here for the rest of the day? And snuggle up and watch some movies? Hey? <laughs> what do you feel like doing? Why are you ignoring me? <laughs> I love you, buddy. What's up, weirdo? Crazy. What are we gonna do today, buddy? What are we gonna do?